Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from ScoutGuitarLessonsOnline.com. This lesson, we are going to be looking at one of the best intros that I have ever heard. Uh, in all the years I'm playing guitar, this to me is just the most classic intro from a song. We're talking about Gimme Shelter by the Rolling Stones from their 1970 album, Let It Bleed. I'm just going to be going through the main introduction before the vocals start. It's just great. Do remember, and I'll discuss it later on, that the guitar has got to be tuned to uh, an E chord, open E chord, to play this song. The second part of the video, so don't go away on this, I look at the solo that was played through the introduction, which is played in a standard tuned guitar. So, if you do enjoy this video, you know what to do. Click on the subscribe link, and then you'll be able to enjoy all the other new lessons that I'll be posting onto my YouTube channel. So, without any further ado, let's get close up with the cameras and let's go through this lesson. So don't go away. Preview. Right. Before we get started, I want to talk about the tuning on this song. Now, Keith, when he did this song, he tuned to an open E tuning. So what we got there means the low string, the E string, is tuned to E. The A string is now tuned a whole tone up to B. D string again is turned tuned up a whole tone to the E. The G string is then tuned up a half tone to the G sharp. The B is tuned to B standard and the high E is tuned to the E. So when we play through we should get an E major chord. Now, I'm going to break this down bar by bar because uh, he plays different sequences as the song develops. So, let's start off with bar number one. To play this, we can put a bar, put the finger across on bar nine, on nine position, and we're going to play just the A string down on the ninth fret, the D string on ninth fret, and then we're going to put our third finger on 11th fret on the D and our second finger on to 10th fret on the G string and we play that three times. Then we go back to 9th fret on the A string and then we put our second finger back onto 10th fret on the G and we're using our bar for the finger on the 9th fret for the D string, and we played that twice. So that bar will sound like this. We play that again. Bar number two, we slide down two frets with that first finger, keeping this bar down to seven position. And we're going to start on seven fret on the A string. And then we play seven, seven on the D and the G string using the bar. And we again, we take this position where our third finger is playing on nine fret on D and our second finger is playing eight fret on the G string and we play that. Then we go back to 7th fret on the D. Again to this 9-8 on the D and the G. Go back to 7 on the A. And we go and then do this 9-8 on D and G. And then we lift our third finger so the D string is back on 7th fret with the bar. So the bar sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
Then we slide our bar down to five fret, and we're gonna pick up five and five on the A and the D string. But we're gonna play this. Then we play five on the D string. And we use our third finger and we play a double stop playing seven and seven on the D and the G string. Lift up the bar and we go back to D5 and then to A5. And then we go and play seven seven on the D and the G. Lifting up the finger to play five five on D and G. Back to five fret on the A. So this bar will sound like this. Next bar, we've got seven seven on the D and G. Lifting up to the five five on the D and G. Picking up A five. We do the double stop again on D and G on five five. Then we move back up to seven position, but we're gonna put our third finger back on that position there of that ninth fret on D and second finger on eighth fret on G. Play that twice. Then we lift them two fingers up so we back on seven seven on D and G. And because we keep this bar in this position across the, all the strings from A string down, we're gonna pick up seven and seven on the A and the D string. So that bar will sound like this. Now if I put that all together, in slow time, we get this sequence through the first cycle of this song. Now we're gonna start the second cycle and this is actually repeated twice. We move up to ninth position again with that first finger covering all the strings from the A string down. And we're gonna play ninth fret on the A. Then we do a nine nine on D and G string. And again, we go back to this position of 11 on the D with the third finger to nine on the G. And we play that three times. Then we're gonna lift up this third finger, so we're doing a nine and 10, because we've got that bar playing that nine on the D and 10 on the G. Play that twice. Then we lift the second finger up, so we're doing a nine, nine on the D and G. So that bar will sound like this. And we slide down to seven position. And we're going to start off with seven on the A string. And then we are going to go across to D and G and our second finger is going to play eight on the G. And then we're going to put our finger, third finger down on ninth fret. And we're going to play this now. We're going to play this uh, five times. And on the last count of that bar, we're gonna lift this third finger up so we go back to this seven, eight. So this bar will sound like this. Uh, we're gonna slide down to seven fret, uh, sorry, to five fret. Now, this part is almost the same as the previous uh, chord sequence or the riff sequence that we played on this five fret but there is just one slight difference right at the beginning where he doesn't travel back down to the five fret on the a string so we start off on a5 then we do a double stop on five five 
Then we do this 7-7 seven, seven on D and G. And this time we go back to 5-5 five, five on D and G. Picking up A5 again. Then 7 and 5-5 five, five on D and G. And back to 5. So this bar will sound like this. Final part of the bar, we go back to 7-7 seven, seven on the D and G, to 5-5 five, five D and G, to 5, back to 5-5 five, five D and G, and then again we move back up to 7 position, but we're going to put our third finger on to 9th fret on D, and our second finger on to 8th fret on the G, play two of them. And same as before, I'll lift that up and we play 7-7 seven, seven on D and G to 7-7 seven, seven on the A and the D. So this sequence, which gets repeated twice, goes like this. go back up to ninth position and we would repeat that whole sequence right through and for the next section which again is played twice we're going to start off on 9g and uh, sorry 9d and 9g doing a double stop that we played twice then we put our second finger on 10th fret on the g and we play that twice then we're going to drop our little finger on 12G and we can also strike the B string as we play this. We play the 9 through the bar and 12th fret on the G. And then we play back to 10. So we're just going to lift our little finger up and play 10. Again, striking the B string to 9, 9 on G and B, and then we do 9, 9 on the D and G, so we would get this. Then we're going to move down to 7 position again, this time though we're going to play 7 on D, 7 on D, G. And we're going to put our second finger then on 8th fret on the G. And we're going to play 8 on the G and 7 on the B. Back to 7 on the D. And then we're going to play 10th fret on the G string with 7 barred on the B. To 8 with our second finger on G. Again, we're ringing out the 7th fret on the B. To 7-7 seven, seven on G and B. And then we're going to play 7-7 seven, seven on the D and the G. So we would get... Then we slide down to 5 position. Now this is this part of this thing, uh, the riff, is played the same as we did across the D and the G string, but this time we're gonna move down a string to play this. So we play five on the G, sorry, five on the D, then we do a five, five on G and B, to seven, seven on the, again, on the B, uh, the G and the B, back to five, five on G and B, Picking up the 5 on the D, 7-7, seven, seven, G and B, 5-5, five, five, G and B, to 5 on the D, so it would sound like this. Final bar on the sequence, 
Go back to 7-7 seven, seven on the G and B. To 5-5 five, five on G and B. Picking up the 5 on the D. Going to 7. Sorry, going to 5-5, five, five, G and B. 7. 7 again. 7. And then playing to 7 on the... D and G. So we get this. Now let me play that through that entire sequence. As I said, you then go back and you repeat that sequence again. Now, the final section of this before we start getting into the main song again, uh, it, it's very similar to what you've been playing. I won't be starting off on this ninth fret. We're going now. Uh, So we're going to start off on a 9th fret on the D. We're going to play 10 on G. Keeping the bar in place, we're going to play the 10 on the G and 9 on the B with that bar. Play it again. And then we're going to pick up 12 on the D back to the bar. So we get this sequence. Play that one more time for you. And we slide down to seventh position, and we're going to play a very similar feature. We start off on seven on the D, to eight on the G string. We're going to play then the G and the B string, uh, eight and seven. And then we're going to lift up, so we're going to play 7 on the G to 7 on the D. So it goes. Now we move back to 5 position. This time our finger is going to go across, uh, all the way across the string, so we're picking up 5 on this low E string. Going to play a similar motive to what we've been doing previously, but we start off with this five, and then we're going to do a double stop on D and G on seventh fret to five D and G, back to five on the low E, do seven five again on the D and G, picking up five again. So we get this. Now, really the final bar before we get into this verse is just playing open string to five across A, D and G. Back to open strings, A, D and G to five. Open string again, then we slide up or move up and we play 777 seven, seven, and we play that three times. So we get this. And then finally he goes into the actual song itself, but he's going to finish off in the 999. Okay, let's look at the solo. The solo is played what I would see as a fifth position minor pentatonic, 
So we're playing across seven and nine fret predominantly through this solo. It opens up on the seven fret on the high E string, going to a nine fret and plays that twice. So we get. Then we move from the nine on the high E to seven on the E to the ninth fret on the B string. Then still on the B string, we're doing a ninth fret to 10th fret. Then we go down to seven on B to nine on three, uh, nine on B. Then we go back and repeat a similar motive to the beginning. So we start off on ninth fret on the G string, crossing over to the high E string on seventh fret and then two nines on the high E. From there we cross to ninth fret on the B string and we're going to do two quarter tone bends. First one bends up and then immediately followed by back down to ninth fret followed by a bend and release. We cross back to the high E string, do a seven nine, another seven nine, Followed by a nine fret quarter tone, a uh, quarter tone, half tone bend on the B string. Then we go back to a similar passage that we did previously. Ninth fret on the G string, crossing to seven on the high E to two nines. Go back to the B string, we do a nine, then another nine with a half tone bend and then release. Go back to nine on the G string, to seven on the high E, to nine on the E. Then we go back to nine on the G string, go into seven and then nine on the high E. Cross down to the B9, and then we've got two half tone bends. In fact, the three half tone bends taking you into the next bar. Then a release. Next bar, we do a nine on the B to a seven. And then we've got a section of eight notes, which goes from seven on B back to nine on B. So nine on G. 7 on the high E, then we do a 9-7 on the high E, then we do 7 on the high E to 7 on the B to a 9 on the B. Back to 7 on the B, going to a 9 on B, then we do a 7-9-7-9 seven, nine, seven, nine on the high E. Now the final part of the rundown, we go to 9 on the G, crossing over to 9 on the B string, to 7 on the B, back to 9 on the G, to a 7 on the high E, 9 on the high E, back to 7. Then we go to the B9 and we're going to again do two half tone bends. Another one on the nine. Then we do seven, nine, seven on the B. To a nine on the G. Crossing over to seven, nine, seven on the high E. Now we then move down to nine on the G. Play that twice. And then we got this little passage where we're just moving out of that five position. We play an 11 to 11, back to nine, finishing on 11 on the D. And that takes you to the end of the guitar solo. Well, I do hope you enjoyed learning how to play the intro to Give Me Shelter by the Rolling Stones. I'm sure you'll agree. It is just a great track. How Keith came up with this, um, it, it, it just, I, I, I just can't say enough on this. 
I have heard it played in so many movies, uh, TV series, and, and it still gets the old hairs on the back of the neck going when you listen to this. If you wanted the tablature and the Guitar Pro 6 file that I have available, just click on the link below. It takes you to my website and you'll be able to download that so you can use the Guitar Pro 6 if you do have Guitar Pro, play along with it. Take it out to slow speeds, help you learn it. Well, glad you've joined me for this lesson. Look forward to your company again on the next lesson that we're going to be putting together. So until then, it's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well and look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.